Hello, and welcome to another edition of Minecraft Abandoned World, the live stream that's on Twitch. This obviously isn't Twitch because it's being recorded and put on YouTube, which is how you're watching this now, if you're watching the recorded video. If you want to see this stuff live whenever it happens, I had to work today, so the Friday evening run was not a thing. Twitch tv slash georgia551 also you will see multiplayer server activity there as well when i get a chance to go on anyway in the last video we finally got a villager in the commune and we'll explain some things that are going on things that we've done off camera and what have not done a few things. Alright, as she loads in. We got the pigs. Pig farm getting bigger. The chicken farm, well, it, it is what it is. Got pumpkins. Drowns with a gold bar. We could use that. I think it's this one. Yep. Right there. Anywho. We got some things we need to get done. And we'll slowly shut off that. We we'll only need one right now for what? Okay, we can grab that. That it matters. It'll just go back to my inventory anyway. And the cows and the sheep. Grew that a little bit. Might notice it's looking a lot more open. It's because I've been at at the trees, cutting them down, trying to get them to the same border as the back of the house. And let's just go in. So, what we're going to do is, I've seen this done before, is, as you can remember here, we had these little uh, decorative units, and we cured a zombie villager in here, but it died, because apparently if it gets where I've put these extra blocks of dirt, the half slabs are treated like uh, blocks that don't block light and they'll die. So I put those in and the first villager we trapped under there because we need to get another zombie villager. We don't need a zombie villager going there. We need the zombie villager going into one of these two. So when the time comes, we'll do that. You also see we got this fenced off. That's because I believe we should have an area where there's a couple of villagers that may need to be uh, saved so we'll have a staircase going down into the and under here will be a small place where they can hide more or less i might even expand it out a little more this way i'm not sure yet In fact, I got rid of the fencing. Anyway, so I put a bunch of beds and what have not up there. I think I might have shown you that. There's just rooms that are carpeted and have beds. And this guy could... I pretty much thought maybe there might be a chance that they could find their way because everything about the stairs, including the landings, are at least three blocks wide. The villager that's in there made it three quarters of the way up to the second floor on that side, then gave up and came back down. So what I might do is put some beds on the second floor because I want to try to keep them, you know, give myself a chance to protect these little guys here. We don't want any of them dead. 
while we're at it. We're also going to start labeling these doors. Because it's starting to kind of... This is our repair and... What I'll do is I'll put stuff there. Actually, random storage. Well, I won't call it random, but actually, we need to be here right now. And we need to be over here. here. Another and okay. some reason up and down arrows won't let you move that it's this sign. I don't know. Why can I not die the sign? Well, these are going to be hard to read then, until we can figure that out. Yeah, I'm not liking the way that this version of it works. Nope. So far, not a fan. All right, this is just random crap. So what I want to do right now is I think we got. Uh, no, we don't have other signs. So what I want to do is we're already already heading towards nightfall. This is for other signage that we don't want the uh, blending in doesn't matter as much. Here we're going to put and that's where we're going to start with this one. Actually, let's go back 
and get rid of some stuff we don't need right now. I've been reorganizing the chests a little bit. And yeah, we don't need this really right now. And trying to fill that in a little bit. So what I want to do is I'm just going to put these where just make an identifiable, identifiable area in which we're not going to put stuff. Alright, this is the stuff we trade with villagers. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. I don't think they care for doors. They might care for wool. They definitely care about that and this, which they will not take because we got not enough room. So next thing is to get a second villager in here. Alright, we definitely need that. I'm going to put those here. We know they will take gold. They will also take iron. They will also take wool. also take Food items. Not sure about this, but we'll put it there anyway. So what we're gonna do is prop this guy open again. Gonna let it get dark and just take a couple more things here. Some of the stuff's really not stuff that maybe could trade with them. I mean, that they can. I know they can. The stuff we need together. They can take rotten flesh. The stuff we'll just take and put in storage. Ultimately, they need to make that chest disappear. Let's not run so fast now. Just put that there because I don't know what to do with it. And then I'll just take extra dirt we don't really need and just huck it away. Oh yeah, we we can trade this stuff away. That's a thing. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves a zombie villager number two. We gotta try to keep them away from that. Get them into at least one of these things. I might expand this fence. Yeah, I don't see anything, really. Uh, 
That really wasn't worth it. Anyway. We have a second zombie villager. We got zombies, but we don't have the zombie villager. We need the villager. See, we can see quite a ways through now. I'm actually thinking now that I've done a lap around the around the property and didn't see anything yet. Should be good. Lightning shouldn't hit anything. Now there was a zombie villager over here. I don't think it's here anymore. Now we can jump. Right there. Yeah, it probably died a long time ago. Clerics will like that stuff. store that away for a little bit. And now that we don't need the hissies and boomies, that's exactly what we're getting. million of them since we don't care about getting them anymore. Thanks for hitting. Zombie villagers and they don't appear. Yeah, while we're out here, let's grab some of the treasure we found while well, off camera. See, before I knew you couldn't move the spawners, this was going to be where the zombie farm was going to be, but that didn't turn out to work. Definitely have some more stuff there, some stuff here. Don't know if I need the potatoes yet. This may come in handy for a project. And that might come in handy. That definitely is something they can trade away. Let's get the window and see what we got here. The sun coming back up. And we can let me move now. Oh, the good thing is it's raining, so 
If a zombie villager were to appear at this point, gee, be great if it would. Yeah, we didn't get any zombie villagers. Back in the commune we go, we patched up the carpet where there used to be a bed. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is expand that fence, which I put here. That should be enough. No. Alrighty. is not it. <laughs> but there is something we want to take care of here. I think that'll do. Back to the villager trading. Gotta get more of those. Definitely more of that, more of that, pathetic amount of that. Definitely could use that. Lapis Lazuli should have just brought that down there. While we're here. We have a full. Actually, I need that coal. We're going to run back down there anyway because that coal is actually for those furnaces down there. The charcoal. So we're going to put that away along with the lapis. And I'll take care of it at the, at the headquarters. I think everything is full except for wheat. Which somehow after all that, I only got four seeds. This farm is very stingy. Getting nowhere with it. 
So we are going to expand this a little bit. do is get yeah, one away. And there's only one entry point, and that's way over here. side. One, two, three, four, five. So I believe that'll be enough for what we want to do. I'm not going to really use this part of it. I'm just had it cordoned off because I wasn't sure exactly where things were going to land. some of our materials would come in handy. That we can just do ourselves. And a cobblestone frame if we really need that. All right, we need a shovel. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's more than sufficient. We're going to find out ultimately. So right here we're going to... We will have steel trap doors. And the point of that, the annoying dog barks there, is going to be a point where we will have to jump up one block or else the the trapdoor thing isn't going to work, is maybe we might don't, not have to go as far as we did. But we'll just... Hmm. Well, pigeonhole that area. Anyway. This. I'll just grab us some of those. We'll only need a small number of the steps right now. We can turn. So 
So this is what we want to do. Grab the stairs. Yep, I want to grab the stairs, which probably means I want to grab the stairs. Let's start here and work our way down. turn. This is where our brick comes in handy. What you do here is just chop that out. We can the wrong brick in there that's just perfect yeah we can break that now we put the right one in we'll take care of this little piece and then we'll go and see if we can get ourselves another uh, zombie villager not perfect because I wanted a stone foundation underneath it and I didn't put that there. Oh, that's okay. Not too worried about that. But I am going to put a torch here just to make sure nothing happens where it shouldn't and just to be safe. Shouldn't really need that. All right, let's go this way. The one in two fifty six chance. So one in two hundred fifty six chance that an egg will hatch four of those guys. And they love this corner for some unknown reason. Zombie villagers. Seems when we need them, they don't come around.
they are starting to wander a bit far. So just do a sweep, see what we can see, and head right back. Some bad guys following us. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that a lot better. Even more so when those leaves clear away. over here we don't want to leave lying around. Anything but what we want. At this point, it's going to be too late. See, we've cleared this out quite a ways, too. Still got a ways to go with it. Alright, time to head back in. The impenetrable fortress. I don't know. Anyway, we can turn. Get rid of that. 
because that shouldn't exist. Put that in with the village of trading. Also can trade wheat. So I think we might put that there. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing because we want this to be a symmetrical thing. And that's not where I wanted to put that. So what we need now is how many steps. Me and math aren't friends. All right, I was thinking of something. You know what? Poops and giggles. I don't know. Anywho. get the village to actually get going. Alright. So, stairs here. Oh, I didn't even need that many. So I didn't quite do on the other side.
right, down here is where our little here, a little safe space for our villagers is ultimately going to wind up. there and right there. There'll be a transition to a three block high area. And this will be a ceiling. This will be the secret quarters. We'll throw a few beds down here. some more blocks to fill that in.
I don't go this far. Just so we don't have problems with monsters, we'll throw a few torches in here. to be our safety area and we don't have any more shovels. It's dark. We need to see I think it'd be safe to say that we need to fence some of that in. Now what's funny is that just a few hours ago I uploaded the previous week's edition of this to YouTube. I just got so busy. That and celebrating 10 years of YouTube by playing <laughs> by playing some old arcade games at Fun Spot, the world's largest arcade in Laconia slash Weir's Beach, New Hampshire. And I'm trying to go with an every other day schedule as to uploading a game I've played. There's a few videos that are going to go directly to Facebook because of the horrible YouTube copyright ID thing. There's some music playing in the background that is obviously recognizable. And outside of the little piece of wine couple pieces of YMCA on the pole position video. Couldn't understand or hear anything copyrighted all that well. And so far, so good on that. Okay, you can go up now. That just looks dumb. There, it's gone. Where I want the zombie villagers, they just do not come. We could use them now. Yeah. 
Twice I pressed my luck in having him flirt with going over the edge there. And off camera I was trying to burn a better path to the mansion from where we came from, just because we could. stupid thing that doesn't work. So-called creeper farm. Well, it's going to take a crap ton of TNT to blow that thing up. Oh, here we go. But I don't know if he's going to be able to come over here. and get out. Hurry up. Very limited time here. No. I want something that won't hurt him in my hand right now. Of course. Of course that failed. Look who tried. is I'm going to let's control Q on my setup. Yep. Alrighty. Did I 
accidentally throw it out. We're not going to need that much of it. But let's also look at Play it by ear, which I'm sure is wrong. And no shovel. That's all we need from that in all actuality. Take that away. And we can get rid of this now. This here. I got the ceiling in. Now it's just a matter of putting and making this all nice and pretty. Actually, what I'll do is, just for the sake of good light levels, is light a torch there. This should be fine, but we'll put that there anyway. It's so close, so far away. No, you ain't going in there. I mean, now is a small amount of this stuff to be cooked.
Let's put four of those in there. And put the seven in there. Dig it out. Dig the rest out. Of course, the reason I put the fence in is if we could actually get the village thing to populate, we don't want them coming down here yet. And randomly just go down. No, I made no gesture. that many pieces. Those would be the easiest beds for the villagers to reach. And for we'll make sure that at least two of them will have a bed down there. That way if this somehow zombie siege occurs or if the pillagers spawn within we'll be all set actually want to turn put some stuff away I wish I could just take the white stuff and turn that text white. should have enough now to finish up the floor in the basement there. Ready. Ready for a villager or two. Now what we need are a bunch of trap doors. Let's see, 20 to be exact. A 
That's an expensive thing. Try this again. Uh oh. This is actually not a good time to try it again. Okay, we need to put stuff away. Yeah, put gravel there. Breaking veins. Who knows? There you go. expensive thing. Very expensive thing we're doing here. Yeah. We definitely need to go mining again. Oh, we're 
here. What happens to escapees? They die. Your fate is ultimately sealed, but. Alright, uh, and per usual, we'll do the Kentucky Fried Chicken method of uh, hatching these. Throw them against the wall. Or at least they used to. Mm. The only thing that sucks about this is you need a redstone circuit to operate this. You aren't going to need too much of that. I don't even need the table. There we go. And now there's a safe place for them to go if there's a an attack on the village in one way or another. Zombie siege or zombie siege or pillaging. Nothing fancy. Not that I'm actually any 
good at this anyway, so. Underneath we have a safe spot for the villagers. find out eventually. At some point, what I want to do is there's 13 different types of professions. We have one marked out with eight of those things, the uh, composters. The idea is if there's an emergency, we can hit this bell, open up this, well, open the door first, then hit the bell, have them run, and as soon as they get in, close them in. they despawn that those are left behind. I don't want to deal with those. Right, right now we still don't have a place for that kind of thing so before we head out we'll just put it here. Yeah I got a place for that but right now we'll leave it there. Need to find one more zombie villager, and hopefully this time we can do it before daybreak. side though. There's one. It's right there. Come on up. You're the next contestant on my price is right. Here he comes. This time we got quite a bit of time for him to come on over. There's enough beds in there that they're going to start breeding like crazy. Assuming this all works.
I don't have to worry about the monsters getting in through here. Because there's no way they can. Here he comes. This way. And trapped. Shut the door now, as we can. We're gonna let this night cycle go through. <sighs> now we can tear down these ugly looking dirt things. So, no. Good enough. That's all we'll start with. Now they're going to start multiplying like jackrabbits. As I know there's people that watch this that don't have the game, so they won't understand how it works. And we'll make it five. Gotta wait for that guy to cure up. The only danger is in this area. They're gonna take a small hit. You gotta kinda of protect them from that. Like I said, I'm not going to... Oh, he's cured. So in this case, I'll actually take a bed down here. Just so that we can make a day and set these villagers free. We don't have a shovel. Make a couple of stone ones because we are so in need. We are in such dire need of raw materials at this point. Alright, here we go.
We'll free the other one in a moment. Let's just get them all united. You can come out now. And the other one disappeared. There we go. A couple ornamental features and a safe spot for them to go to if they think of going there. Alright, one's there and one's over there. One of them's trying to find beds. down there for. Huh? Huh. And a librarian, which is interesting, being that we don't Unless they just come up with a random, you know, random trade when you start. We got a fisherman and a librarian. And there's 50 beds. And they are not... And they are not meeting each other. One's right there, one's right there. and it made it easier to find. They are confused. They don't know where any of the beds are.
Do I have to cure more zombie villagers? I've already set them aside. Why don't they meet up over here? There's nothing there to look at. Ah. Trying to get you over to where the other one is. Ah. Both seem to not be... Both of you don't seem to be enjoying each other's company right now. There's a little more that ah. way. down here. Oh, look at that. All this time I thought I finished putting in windows and I didn't. There's a section that's completely missing some. Good thing one of them went in there and I'm trying to figure out why aren't they doing it. Six of these. There's our six. Get a villager over there. I think we're going to have to make another... We're going to have to put some beds down here. Doesn't seem that they are taking to what we've given them. And we can run. Let's make three beds, because we can. Oh, my monitor that I'm using never got plugged into the computer, so now it's probably going to give me a problem.
Oh, that's exactly what we didn't want right now. Now I'm not sure if everything's going to be okay or not. Well, according to my monitor, it seems everything is. Yeah, I'm looking at it and it's still going. And my monitor is a is the phone. It definitely, it's still running. I can see it. That's a good thing. We like them when they run. And that's not what we want. To shut this. What we gotta do is we gotta get them. Get at least get one. And eh, we need to be able to run. Ah, he got through. And we can hit. And we can hit. They seem to be stuck with this corner, so let's start over here. I'm sleeping. Why aren't you? There they are. And I can't even find the ones that are... Ultimately, we're going to have... They're going to be wandering so aimlessly. There's going to be some that they're going to find. They're going to find the ones that are underground. And the ones that are on the second and third floor. They just got to do that. And we can move. We do not have a ton of this stuff, so...
Yeah, I have a feeling they're going to be populating the village for quite a while. So far, this plant community is not going to plan. string I don't think I have that that's something I should be putting in the uh, villager trading section Feed the two villagers. as close as a split as we're going to get. Where's the other guy? They're starting to get a little interested, but then they split up. Actually, we need to go over here. We need to keep those actually. I take that with us. Huh. Oh, you're the fisherman. I want to see what the other guy has. Huh? Paper for di diamonds, I was about to say. Yeah, that is somewhat easy to do. I mean, somewhat. Because over at home base, we got we have a ton of sugar cane we can break down.
kaboom. You will not go kaboom. getting a little more friendly. Hopefully a tad more friendly and something else will appear. Third villager. Seems the more they're fed, the more likely they're going to do what they're supposed to be doing. I mean, they're throwing food at each other, which is typically how Minecraft babies start getting made. Stubborn. Huh. Oh, yeah, well, we were there. Completely forget the objective that we had.
It's not a lot, but at least we can start trading. Start making them happy. Maybe it'll get the, uh... Definitely know we can trade paper. That I know. Then we got a cat. Where's the other villager though? This is a good idea. I mean, you wonder if this is too complicated for them. Can't even find the bed. It's right there. Neither of them can find the bed. Yeah, that's something they really need to work on is the villager uh, pathfinding is beyond awful. The beds are right there. I can't seem to find them. They're panicking. Huh. Alright, so what can we do now? We can set up for some trades. We got one already set up. going to be sidewalk material. What I need to do is go find them. Go find a cave and mine some more of that uh some more of this uh and this side. going to be a foundation. The foundation for our uh, workstations. We have 13 sections. Well, actually 12 because we've already made the farming ones. Thank <laughs> you. 
you're too late. Oh, I was about to punch him. I should have punched him as he keeled over. I would have got the credit. Well, that's another exciting cave adventure that we went on. Because this is what we want. doing is I'm going to have 10 stations for each occupation. should be more than enough. Actually, one more piece just to... Yeah, just to make it an even count. Eight there.
Some things we need to do is we need to still work on lighting, which in turn in these chests Now, for where the raised I was gonna say where the underground bunker is. We will need to have an elevated platform. Then we can move. Yeah, it's not on a Mac on the way in. I think I would know that, being that I created that. It could also be that I've been up since 2.20 in the morning to get to work for 4 and it is almost 11.30 at night. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. We gotta cover them up right away. One, two, three, four, five. Still far away, this I mean this is a rather big place for them. They seem to not find each other very well. What I might do is just put a fence around. You know, in this, just here. Yeah, we can dig.
Yeah, for safety, we'll just... We'll just put it right here where the center section is. This is where a set of workstations will go. Oops. stayed in line. This is where it becomes a problem. We're just going to have to put a torch there for now. And one there, one that just to represent those particular areas. Here we might put an elevated platform in which we'll put another 10 workstations. And that way, we won't have to worry about breaching the ground. And we'll just duplicate the same thing over there just for symmetry purposes. supposed to keep them from going over the edge immediate the immediate edge Same thing we did over here. Repeat the pattern.
Wait, dude, it's okay. You can vote. Somehow we're off by one. So we're just gonna... Oh. Heck is that? One. And this is off by one. This will be a little dangerous, but we need to get that. I don't know why that would break. There's a cave system under the house. Something went hiss and boom? Not really. The important thing is we quieted down what was causing the problems. Might be a bit overkill, but well worth doing. So we have one set of jobs, a second, and a third. We need ten more. It's probably something I won't be doing on video. This just happens to line up, which we like when that happens. Oh. 
this case is right in the middle. another set of workstations. built this whole thing off by one. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so we're just going to temporarily put that there and that there. Off these go. Actually, I didn't have to remove all of that. Where's the rest of it? So what I'll do here is, this will save us some time, is I just want this over here. Rehang the bell there. stuff you built wrong. Alright, so we're just missing these. I thought something looked a bit off somewhere. all pretty. We'll do the same thing over there. And we're randomly changing stuff. Now, as I'm building these stations, I'm not putting any actual workstations 
eating because I want want the newer the newer beings to become the farmers and then they will take care of the rest. Something don't look great. Right. But it's fine. He's cool. Not too much. I don't know. So we got four, five right now. Yeah, pretty much it's going to be busy work and them not multiplying. We might have to truck in villagers. minute I saw one climbing up there. Wouldn't surprise me any. I hear him, but I don't see him. Finally go down here. I guess they have. Huh. What I'm gonna do is huh. bring up the trading, copy it, or print screen it so I can make a decent, make myself a decent uh, what you might call it, decent uh, thumbnail. So. Yeah, it's not going exactly the three hours, but I have gone as short as an hour and a half because when it gets too repetitive, it doesn't make for a good video. That'll be it. Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.